your first thought um, after the accident happened? Your first thoughts on, the, on what happened? I'll never see you again. This video was made by high school students and public health professionals. We made this video because a lot of people, including teens, get hurt on the job and often don't know what to do to prevent injuries from happening while being on the job. We also made this video because a lot of teens don't know that they have rights while they're on the job, and we wanted to let them know that they do. The whole point of the video is to let teens know how to get information about the hazards, to learn about the hazards, to look for the hazards, and to know about the hazards. To make this video, we interviewed a lot of teens about their experiences with hazards on the job. We especially learned a lot from the kids who had been injured on the job. We went to their homes and workplaces and interviewed them so we could get them on camera and find out about their situation and find out about what had happened to them. How did you get injured? I, um, I was pulling some freight off a truck and I had slipped on the wet floor. So a piece of paper also made it a little bit slippery. Was there anybody around to help you? No, I was probably the only one there at the time. So did you scream for help or you just got up and act like nothing happened? Got up, acting like nothing happened. Oh, you were kind of embarrassed. They should have warned me that the chemicals were really strong. And um, if they touched your skin or anything, you could be burnt. I went to Lowell, Massachusetts to interview a teenage girl. Um, about her injury. She was working at a hospital as a dietary aide. They should have had the eyeglasses there available for me. She was cleaning some pans out in this extremely strong chemical that she didn't know about. When we got down to the emergency room, they figured out that there was a type of acid in it and um, that it burned skin and she had, she had dropped the, the pants and the water had splashed up in her face and it burned her whole face and she lost um, eyesight for, out of one eye for a, a couple of weeks. Sometimes I get mad at the supervisor for not telling me that it was dangerous and for not telling me that, that um, it could hurt somebody, it could cause blindness, it said right on the the box of it. I mean, we we're lucky that Jamie's eyes weren't damaged. The two weeks that they were was yeah. Yeah. horror for her. Yeah. It really was. But you know, now it's not, and let's hope she can uh, save somebody else's eyes. My foot went into it and slipped. My, I. I was trying to grab it to the, onto the bar that was in front of the grill, but my hand went onto the grill instead. We have a lot of heat, uh, fire, uh, hot water, boiling, boiling water. And I got burnt here, a second degree burn. I was trying to do it all by myself. I didn't ask for help. No, I just figured, hey, yeah, I can do it by myself. It's you know, not something I need to have help with. Sometimes I blame myself for not looking. I think a lot of teens, when they get injured on the job, they tend to think that it's their fault, um, that what they did was a result of their being careless or they're not paying attention enough. And usually that's not the case. Usually there's things that the employers can do to prevent injuries from happening. All of my associates have to feel that they are in a safe environment here, all right, and that responsibility is on me, all right. They've got to know that I'm not going to put them into a position where, you know, they're going to be in danger. There are jobs that they have to handle certain equipment or whatever, but they're certainly well trained for it. And any type of safety equipment that comes out, my company makes sure that it's available to me and I give it to them. Sometimes you hear about an accident uh, on a job site because the machine was faulty and the employee didn't know about it, but the employer did. Often teens get hurt because they're not trained, they're not aware of the uh, hazards. I mean, because 
if, if a ladder looks unstable to me, I'm not getting on mm -hmm. it. So I'm not taking my life. It's either your life or your... If it is your job on the line, I'd rather have my life if I can find another <laughs> job <laughs> or fight for the job I do have. So. The boss should have the responsibility to give the teens a safe and a safe environment that they are able to work in. They should have like mat, mats down so it will be easier so they won't slip. It said on the label that must wear protective eye glasses and there was none around. That's why you have to pay attention to what's safe and what's not because if somebody was to tell you to do something and you knew it wasn't safe, you know, regardless if it was a supervisor, you could just tell them, look, that's not, it's not appropriate, it's not safe, you know, and I won't do it, you won't have to do it. That's what I'm looking for from these young people is that they learn how to make those intelligent choices for themselves because I can look out for them, but they need to learn how to look out for themselves. That's the main thing. So in other words, if they have a problem with going up a ladder, I tell them, you know, don't just complain about it. You need to take action on it. Uh, say to me something like, can I talk to you? This, I'm having a problem with this. Who may I contact if I have a problem? Who can help me? You have protection both at the state and federal levels. There are agencies that protect your rights in terms of health and safety, agencies that protect your rights um, in terms of child labor laws, limiting the numbers of hours that you can work so that you can have a good school life and work life and not have them interfere with each other. What if I get fired? If you get fired, like for, for asking for better equipment or for complaining about health and safety, that's illegal. You're, you're not allowed to get fired for, for asking to exercise your rights. You have very specific rights, rights related to health and safety and rights related to the child labor laws. And if those rights are violated, or if you complain about those rights being violated, it's illegal for them to fire you. The, there is a need for teens to be aware of um, the hazards and the problems that could happen in a workplace. I mean, they might not know all of them, but they need to know because first they need to be aware of what they could do to prevent that stuff from happening to them. Um, I guess what would make the workplace safe is they all know what they're doing and uh, they don't overdo it. And um, they have a good relationship with each other. Everyone has respect for each other. And whenever they have a problem, they know exactly what to do. Basically, pay attention, be alert, and look out for your, your fellow workers. And if you have any questions, make sure you just ask so staff, be afraid to. If you don't ask a question and then you end up doing something wrong, you might hurt yourself or hurt somebody mm -hmm. else. No, don't, if it's, even if the question seems dumb to you, it might not be dumb to somebody else. What would you tell other teens that I mean, don't feel comfortable going up to their boss or approaching them with a the problem? Um, you should feel open. If you think something's wrong, you should tell them that it's wrong. And um, don't feel shy about anything, you especially when there's something you can get hurt. Because it could lead to, I mean, if this wasn't as serious as some other people's injuries, you know, I, I could have been blinded for life.